Righto, Teleode champs, and today we're going to have a look at an awesome laptop, and I say awesome because we took this away with us on a holiday with the boys, and I can tell you there were fights over this laptop, everybody wanted to play on it, and in actual fact it wasn't just gaming, we used this laptop as our main laptop when we were away, so I've done everything, and I'm genuinely sad to give this one back, and I've got to say, the Victorian high country where we went, oh my god, it's so amazing up there, oh, actually no, 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 do not go there, it is terrible, uh, yeah, high country Victoria, no, nah, take that off your list but anyway this thing is almost gaming perfection sort of peak gaming laptop it's the 17 inch Aorus and it's actually called the Aorus 17 and Gigabyte do something so clever I'll get to that in a sec but for gaming it does everything you want perfection it's not too loud let's get into the specs first comes with Intel's latest Ultra 7 155H processor which compared to the old processor does give you a little bit better battery life. We'll get to that in a sec. It has an RTX 4070 with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 140 watt power limit. Awesome. System memory, two DDR5 slots and we got DDR5600 in here. Two M.2 slots, both Gen 4. Wolf. Now it comes with every port you want, okay, including HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort 1.4, Ethernet jack, full-size SD card reader, of course USB-A, USB-C, and Thunderbolt 4 Wolf. That's what I'm talking about. You get power delivery up to 100 watts through the Thunderbolt 2. So that's awesome. Wi-Fi 6E, it's around 2.8 kilos, 6 pounds. That's sort of like, you know, path of the course there with 17-inch gaming laptops. And the reason you get 17-inch gaming laptops is, yes, you get better performance a little bit just because the thermals are usually better on a 17 inch laptop but you get a beastie 17 inch display and this is the clever part that gigabyte done right every gaming laptop i get now is basically 16 by 10 display right some of them are good some of them are not so good but they're all moving to 16 by 10 so what does that mean there are a ton of top tier 16 by 9 sort of displays out there and this is what gigabyte do right they don't move to 16 by 10, they stick with 16 by 9. And this is the genius, because what they've done here is they've picked out a 16 by 9 display, a top tier 16 by 9 display, okay? So rather than having a mediocre 16 by 10, at this sort of price point, that's what you're getting. You're only getting a mediocre 16 by 10 display at this price point, and that's genius, right? So they get a 16 by 9, probably cheaper, but they get the top 16 by 9 display. They know how to make gaming stuff, Gigabyte, because here's the deal, right? The display is probably the most important thing on the laptop. If you're going to tell me one gaming laptop compared to the other, there are, you know, some other factors like noise and thermal performance and all this. Well, that's all there. The performance is all there. Out of these parts, you get the maximum performance, right? And you can compare it to another laptop. Let's say it has the same performance. But the key thing is... The display, it's a thing you're looking at, it's a thing you're interacting with, and this has one of the best gaming displays. 1440p, perfect resolution, 17 inch, 100% P3, Pantone validated, Dolby Vision, Advanced Optimus G-Sync, Wolf, this thing is amazing, this display. Like, I cannot tell you how good this display is. And look, the kids were playing Fortnite. I've got to say, that thing pops on this display. It just looks so good. It looks almost OLED-like. So when it comes to looks, it's sort of got that matte black look, so it is fingerprinty. But what I can tell you is the build quality is very good because, look, I'm going to... Alex, I'm sorry, mate. It did get bashed and crashed a bit out there. But, um, yeah, that's what happens with a normal laptop. Just normal use with kids, that's what's going to happen, right? And it stood up to the test, no problem. So it is very robust. So the build is good. Keyboard is awesome. It has a nice mechanical feel to it, although it is a full-size keyboard. I don't like full-size keyboards, but that's sort of just me. It does have a backlight that actually lights the secondary functions. Oh, thank you very much, Gigabyte. Trackpad works well, does what it's supposed to do, and the sound was actually decent. Not earth-shattering, but decent. And in actual fact, some of the kids were gaming with it without a headset. And that's a good thing, because it's not that loud. In its full performance mode, it is around 55 decibels, but 
but we didn't put it in this full performance mode because, all right, you get a little bit of a boost in full performance mode, but really in normal mode, you get most of the performance and a hell of a lot less noise. So that's definitely the way I would use it. And you couldn't really hear it. It's around, you know, 47 decibels in that sort of normal mode. And you were getting pretty much max performance there. So if you can't tell, I do like this thing. Look, the looks of a black sort of laptop, I'm never going to get excited about that. But for the performance of it, the gaming performance is awesome. The battery life is a little bit better. You know, you'd usually expect around four hours, a 17-inch laptop with the old parts. Now you get maybe about six hours. That's just general web surfing or whatever. And for gaming, you don't really get that much of a boost in battery life because the GPU is taking up most of the power. And really, I don't have any faults of this gaming laptop for what it is. It's a gaming laptop that games really well. And that's what I like about it. It's robust. The kids love it. I mean, it's a great machine. Like, seriously. And one of the kids is saving up for it. So, there you go. And I didn't say, oh, no, there's a better one to get. No, get this one. Like, you'll love this thing. So, anyway, catch you in the next one. Tally ho.